Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing higher on Thursday. This as the U.S. dollar surged to a 14-year high. Shares in consumer durables and apparel, real estate, consumer services, all in the red, while shares in semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, banks and transportation gaining momentum. On the economic docket, initial jobless claims falling to 254,000 in the week ended December 10th. Also, continuing claims increasing to 2.02 million in the week ended December 3rd. This as 65% of S&P 500 constituents traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, we first take a look at Oracle. It posted second quarter diluted EPS of 48 cents versus 51 one year ago on adjusted revenues of $9.07 billion. This while net income dropped 21% to $2 billion. And Adobe Systems unveiling fourth quarter adjusted EPS of $0.90 cents versus $0.62 cents last year on sales of $1.61 billion. And Dow Chemical announcing its intention to convert all of the Series A preferred stock into shares of common stock. Now, turning overseas, Asian markets mostly up today, the Nikkei up just about two-thirds of a percent, the Hang Seng down 0.18 percent, China CSI 300 up 0.17 percent, and South Korea's Kospi up a little more than a quarter percent. European markets trading higher and U.S. futures calling for a positive start. In terms of expectations today, there are no major earnings expected. However, on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have the November housing starts figures as well as November building permits. And turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 sees a bullish bias above 2248. The relative strength index for the S&P 500 mixed with a bullish bias. Long positions above 2248 are favored with targets at 2268 and 2273 in extension. And the Nasdaq, that sees a rebound, well, an expected rebound. Long positions above 4915 are preferred. And lastly, the Dow Jones sees a bullish bias, preferring long positions above 19,750.